1920. Hey guys, welcome back to another live stream. Today we're going to be playing some Life is Strange. I decided to make a live stream in instead of videos because, you know, this is actually a really long game. Like, it's like, see, there's like five seasons, so I don't want to do videos because it's going to take really long. So I'd rather do a live stream. Let's get started with the live stream. Life is Strange. Sorry, said it's really late. No. So this one like started and stuff, but we're gonna make a whole new start. We're gonna make a new game. Got all of them. See? We're gonna have a fresh new start. Yeah. So guys, I only played. I only played the first part. I haven't played any more than that. I promise. So I only played the first parts. Any nothing more than that. So yeah. Oh, that still, that still scared me. It's so loud, guys, so yeah. You find a vet. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. Yeah. I'm in class. Everything's room. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jeff? I already did like this first part. You can hear the class laughing at me now. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? In this game, you like I rewind. Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. <laughs> You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. 
A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally yeah. stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? The portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where okay. you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kicking ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the door. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on this. Let's take some photos. Marco eyes. Okay, so in this game you really gotta be, you know. You actually gotta look at everything. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Hmm. I wish I had a friend like that. I don't really have friends, though. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old okay. dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, now I can leave after whatever you said. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome always... to the room, girl. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. To to They're just the getting you ready. Because Max okay. wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking Dana is on my floor, too. That's Dana talking to me. I think his name is Justin. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. It's 
Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Okay. I don't know if I can go back out, like, outside straight, straight away. Nope. Okay. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens, or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like th Oh, I wonder if I look. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just Isn't come to three. Is this girl bathroom? Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks <sighs> to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever okay. tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! I can rewind now. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why are we? I did it. 
Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human time machine. Black and white? Anybody? <laughs> Max, don't Thank freak you. out. Arvis? Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of Keep her it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. When I took my selfie, Jefferson you asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I the point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. Okay. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. Jefferson wants to keep me after Lucy class. And I need time to save that girl. A process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Max, since you've captured our in The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. I totally did the not The Daguerrean change. process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everything. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Thanks Max, for watching. I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Everyday hero, because I am a hero. Yes, Victoria, you still everyday have Everyday high school hero. Even if Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Yes, Max, exactly. Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still... Excuse me. Photography... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Let's go. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. You can't help me at all, Logan. Daniel, you remember that it's payday? <laughs> don't even tease. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class. Okay, Max, retrace every step. 
I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Two. For sure it was two. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass. He begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, well, sir, so it's so happening sick. again. But people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass. I need a you? hammer to break it open. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Run. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Oh, God. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Thanks, man. You want me to get out of here? I don't want to speak with you. Hold on, Max. Come back here. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Mm, I'm a reporter, Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Is that That's it? it? Actually After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed out. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. 
No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just... Okay. So this is where I end the video. But I'm not going to end it because it's a stream. How can it be 27 minutes long anymore? Okay, I said it, I said this in my last video, but I'm gonna say it again. This game is free. You guys just wanna say that? So the game is free. For PlayStation, I'm not sure if it's free for Xbox One or um, any other consoles, but I'm pretty sure I know that it's um, free for PS4. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. to go to my room and return oh, Warren's no. flash drive. Excuse me. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now. Why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Where is it though? Do you have it? Wait. Oh, wait, the door's open. <gasps> he left he left the door open. Holy crap. Oh. Yes, we're in. Can, oh, we can get inside the dorm now? Oh, what's this? News? Oh, what ha, the hell? I'll take that. Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Awesome. Can I go now? None shall pass. Capiche? She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Can I like rewind time and do something about it? Probably like climb up there and drop it. So she. I'm not sure what I can do. None shall pass. Capiche? Okay, I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, I gotta do it all the way so I can do this much better. Oh. Okay, let's see if this works. So I put this marker on and then like Sweet. the bucket gets wet and hopefully drops on her? No? Oh, I think I know it's gonna go. He he puts it on there and then it drops and it drops on her. Okay. Yes. No way. No fucking you okay, way. Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. 
Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Can I pass now? Oh, man. She looks so sad and lonely sitting there alone. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Oh, He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Well, not to me. One of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Being nice is always nice and good. Not all the time, but... Is in here? We're kind of, um... Hurry, Courtney! Fire alarm? Victoria is going to be At least that's an alarm from this century. We can I go under um what I can't go in but it's open. Oh, here we go. I'm not even sure Max is a girl name. Just saying. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Oh wait, uh, my my bed. Bed, teddy bear, nude. Music? Oh, yay. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Don't you know Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. We gotta find a fresh. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Oh. I want to waste power. Eve? Well, I didn't really do anything, so... You can't we'll get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. I left the music on. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. And I can leave. <laughs> can I enter a room now? Nope, still can oh. okay, I'm done. Honey, I'll do it. This is so stupid. Okay, okay. No need to go there now. Wait, why not? You are ridiculous. Oh. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Oh. If you don't let me out, what did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh, ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's really? why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um... I don't know. Juliet. Juliet... Ju Juliet Olsen. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. 
By the way, Juliet Watson. Oh, I was so close. It was right there. Fine. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. You uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Oh, so I can get her to room now? Oh, what do you know? You can't see a thing. Is there in the computer? Drawer? I have, I have no time to look at things. I'll give Victoria props for not oh, posting my photo. I have no time photo. to read either. Hold on. I'll give Victoria props. Boom. This oh. is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. What do I do to print it? Oh, what do you know? Yeah. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Uh, I, I want. I want to skip this because. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are, and I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about White Victoria. White Ninja. You set me free. Thank Black you. Black Ninja is so good. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I am so fast. Or whatever. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Must hey. protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Insist, Max. Done. I saved your now life. That's what I'm talking about. I, I actually life. helped somebody. Yay. Okay, then. I'll let her get hit with the football, then. I don't really care. I don't want the consequences. Ah. Hey. Fuck this shit. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo. Because I don't want to get in trouble. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Jeez. 
What was I supposed to say? He's Man, a... I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Is that him? Is that him? I can't look. Are they like girlfriend or boyfriend or something? Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. Max, get your ass over here. Hey, okay, I got the What up, Max? Back. How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, yes. Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria just... got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Use free. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh god, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren yeah. Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Yeah. Go on. I had this incredibly bizarre experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what- Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. What do you mean? Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. I took a step back. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. The not freak. my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the now. bathroom. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what, that's what to do. Hold. Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go, go, I got this. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. What? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. 
Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt, and you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. <laughs> so I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you'd hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it in my place i need very specific tiny tools bird alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home max Better than mine. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. <laughs> home, sweet home, and then she switches to that. I don't want to say it. looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Where's the music? Can I go? It won't play without any power. So, where's the bear? It's most bad in here, I wonder why. Right, Chloe? Whatever her name is. Houston, we have the power. But we need to find a disc to play. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Is it here? Nope.
Chloe's trash overfloweth. Oh, why am I doing this? Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. This. Oh, wow. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. <sighs> so, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? <sighs> yeah. Don't smoke, guys. Don't smoke. It's bad for anyway, you. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Don't smoke, guys. Please. It's bad. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I should be able to find the tools I need here. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Too big. I need tiny tools for that camera.
your mistake now? Oh, man. I'll always make them fall. One more time. Let's see if she makes it again. Is she, okay, that's gonna, it's gonna be embarrassing if she makes it one more time. Oh, man. I'll always make them okay, fall. Then. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Um. Huh. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Yes! Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. How can I reach the... Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Hmm. I can take a chair. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Just stay down. Oh well. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Fine. Done. You're happy. You're happy now. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. You could just lay down and just look rubby, but you know. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. I actually have to click X to go upstairs. This has to be a room. Nope. I meant to lock the door. So you can't lock the door. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera.
So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I wasn't there. Come on, even after five years, I can still tell when you're lying. Okay, I was there. So badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. She could have been, could have been dead right now. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This is my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> what is wrong with her? This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Oh, fine. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe. What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Chloe. I'm I'm coming. Doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Come on. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Better, better, better. I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? Nowhere! One, two, three... Shit. What's going on in here? Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth, that's an order. It's not my pot, it's from Max. Is this true? Oh my god, um... 
Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd oh. screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Oh, you're on a roll today. Between the fire alarm and now this? You don't have anything smart to say now, do you? Get the huh? hell away from her. I have proof you hassled Kate Marsh today. What? What are you talking about? I have surveillance proof. Now please leave us alone. Okay, Chloe. You know everything. And Max, if I find you here again, it will be the last time. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. Ooh, that was an oh, epic win. Oh, wow. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hickle. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. No, no, never mind. So I left. This is the room where, where, where I had a dream. Or we had a dream, whatever. Holy crap, that is bright. Ah. Oh. Reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Because you had a dream. Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. you thanks for today i'll call back later okay i swear and you and you still have to tell me your big secret equals kick birds are so lucky they can always escape looks like the youth of arcadia bay still come up here to party i never made it too bad it's locked. I remember racing up and down the steps. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. <laughs> I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass oh, bye -bye. to our home. Oh, did me too. I never trusted David. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate. Just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? You know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing he didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets.
Even yours? Not anymore. So what do you have on Nathan? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? How long has it been? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted, and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. He drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. Chloe, that is so fucked up. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. <laughs> If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Oh my god. Okay, I say. Okay, that okay, that almost got me. Now we can now go, now go, now go. Oh dear. I feel 
like the doe is eating me. Come on, get out of there, get out of One. No. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black Hello. out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? okay Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. Sick, no. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. It'd be a long story.
That's episode one. You took the blame for Chloe. You blamed Chloe. You stayed. You stayed hidden. You came out of. You blamed Chloe. Two people. And you stayed hidden. You came out of. Thirty-two people did that. Okay. You made fun of Victoria. You comfort Victoria. You hid the truth. You reported Nathan. You took a photo of David harassing Kate. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> that was probably a mistake. Okay. Wow. Okay. My friends, you took a photo of David harassing. You hid the truth. <sighs> okay. Episode 2. Okay, let's get started. I'm excited. Okay. Let's play it. I'm gonna play episode 2, guys. Get ready. In the previous episode of Life is Strange, get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Called film Whoa. little pieces what of the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Okay. Story based again. I already know this. Let's see what season two is, guys. I was kind of afraid if like I only had season one for free and like the other seasons were not free. I was kind of afraid for that, but no, every, the full game is free. The full thing, season season one to five. Okay.
I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. Superhero is dirty work. I need to shower. There's no bathroom in here, so. crazy shit going on it is so cool having chloe back in my life again like i better not leave without my shower supplies it'll be fun to get some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games Drink up. I can bring you back. I hold the power over life itself. Is there a watering of plants? That's kind of dumb. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm so not a rebel. I always like my bed to be neat and tidy. Thanks, Mom. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific answer. Shower supply, huh? Yeah, Good look. morning, clothes. I hope you slept well. Now, shall it be my Gucci shirt with the Vuitton jacket? Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like, now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. Ow! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Just a shower. Is it here? Here it is. Kate is not good. I wish David would get off her crap. Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but... But... Whatever. It's done. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of The October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. 
Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Oh, no, 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 no. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Okay, I know what to do. First, now you can enjoy your showers in peace. You're welcome. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. If I erase it, what will happen though? Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Hold up, I need to find the book before going to see Kate. My desk is a pigsty, but I know it ain't there. And 
found nothing here. And two people watching, what do you know? Thanks for watching, guys. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. <laughs> now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to to be from Nathan, but it could be anybody. I better be. Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. I'd love to make a photo cook. Man, people here are merciless. No need to go there now. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see this now? You look distracted. Everything cool? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? Um. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything when David harassed me yesterday? I'm sorry. I, I was scared. I can be pretty gutless. I don't expect you to get in trouble for me. I just feel like nobody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well... He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. Should I watch it? Just for posterity? Are you kidding? You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. 
Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. Yeah, because you go to the cops and, like, they're gonna, not really gonna do anything. She needs proof. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo-hoo. That's what happens when you preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, 
Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Max, check it out. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Consequence for like everything. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. the song yes Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. 
hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel thirsty. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Drool. Want everything. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Gross. The chill is. The chill is all same. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, 
Bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One belt. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Hmm. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Can I get some beer and This beer? is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Here, Max. You'll love this. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. You have a tube of glitter in there, right? Nada. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. This is me telling you what's in store. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, are you serious? I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, oh. psychic girl.
How many cigarettes? Okay, Max. Study every item carefully One, two, and don't three, forget four, anything. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So, this is me testing. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes? I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Um. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Um. Penguin. Panda, panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck call build. What else? Money. Parking. Yeah. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, I am so done. You know what? 6.42 a.m. I don't even think about getting up that early. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually. Huh. <sighs> okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. 10.30, 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m., okay. 10.34 a.m. Come on. Okay, Max. Okay. A parking ticket. You know me well. Six forty-two a.m. I don't even think about getting up that early. Okay, oh. psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Uh, oh no! Damn it. it okay, is... Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Oh, ten thirty-four. Okay, ten thirty-four. Ten thirty-four. Okay. So this is me telling. Okay, Max. A parking ticket. You know me. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. What the hell that means? I'm pretty sure you have six. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that. Amazing. Keys? Your car key. Duh, way too easy. I need D. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck forever. call build. What else? Really? You have money? Hmm. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Oh. 82 cents. I wish. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. 10, 25. Okay. Okay, Max. Study every- You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. This is me. Okay, Max. Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly, I'm rich as. F Eighty-six. Eighty-six cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that. Amazing. A parking ticket. You know me well. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Even a broken... 
Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. I literally just got chills all over my neck. <laughs> yeah. You have powers. Yeah, I do. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. She goes on. She waves high. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next. 30 seconds or so. Come on, Trevor drops his glass. Trevor drops his glass and Justin makes fun of him. So what happens next? Oh. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he quickly exits the diner. Max, you said that you would predict four events. That's only two, dude. Oops. That is Did so wrong. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. I'm going to predict four. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Wait, that doesn't happen. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce doesn't give a shit. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. I'm going to... The trucker drops his mug. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Fighting and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Let me show you the events. Oops. Dude, did you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I dick. think not, Don't slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild.
You happy? That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Mac. I'm going to predict four events that will... The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and he answers it. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as the trucker tries to play a new song. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think don't not, Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? No, the cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, but he does nothing except eat a donut. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Take I'm going to predict. The trucker drops his mug. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are... 
This is getting good. Can't wait to see what. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? No, no refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? <laughs> you think anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Yeah. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. That took forever. We spent so much time on that. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with, too. Later, Mom! Bye, Joyce. Freedom! I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously attack your power and rule the world. I hope Kate doesn't get upset at an answer. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my... Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. <laughs> it suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. 
so we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Nope, I don't want to go there. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. This was an old-school punk shirt. A trophy. This is the scariest thing here. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Boom, only three bottles left. I don't want to go that way. Oh. Okay. Nope, I don't want to go there. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill. Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby. And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Sorry guys, someone was knocking on my door. I'm not sure who it was. But when I opened it, no one was there. My bad.
I don't want to go that way. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. Okay, much better. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that, but like, Knocking on the door like crazy. Those shells look fresh. Stupid bottle. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. That's my Chloe. <laughs> That's my. I prepare the shooting range while you look for some bottles. She 
she has one. these bottles Jesus Christ what oh my god one more bottle to go I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Oh crap. Thanks for the tip. Oh. Nope, I don't want to go there. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Every car has its own tale and history. Okay. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Higher. This board as a bridge doesn't look too heavy. Okay. How do I get it? All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I think I know to get it. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe.
Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hello, yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Holy crap. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. 
and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us. Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't! You stole that shit! Give it to me right now, asshole! You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. All you Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. I'll rewind, and don't you'll worry. you wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Do that. Are you ready to do this? We should jet We before. have plenty of time to do anything we want, whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. Exactly. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Where is she? Wow, sir. Why did Frank... Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both... I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. 
I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy. Without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! to cut those wires. Max! Get me out of here, Max! Um... Um... The train's coming! Max, please! Oh, I Max, can't find... get me out of here! I can't find anything, damn it! time ow oh 
open. Can't cut it, so. Hurry! I'm trying to freaking find a weapon, chill. Oh, yes. Please, get me out of here. I can definitely use this bad boy. You're not, you're not. I can't even move it with this crowbar? For real? Please. Then, I'll just use a little bit more time. Something, something. Shit, I can't budget at all. Come on, Max. Use the crowbar, use the crowbar. <gasps> Score. Let me rewind, let me rewind a little bit for the girl. Done. Find a little bit more time for her so she can so she can survive. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Rewind time, rewind time, rewind time. Done, we're free now. No problem. One, a, a little bit more time, a little bit more time for the girl. Okay, now go, 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 go. I'm coming. To the rescue. Come on, Max. But which wire to cut? Hurry! Uh, uh, green. Oh, stupid light. Please. No go. Shit! So it's not green. But which wire to cut? Yellow. Whoa! Short circuit city. Does yellow work? Come on, Max! Oh, that didn't work either. Which wire to cut? Red, red one. This is the last one. Now that's the right cable. Come on, Max! Hurry! Yes! I did it! You okay? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's OK. We will. Forever. Hmm. Good to hear. I have no idea how long the live stream has been. Oh yes, there's someone watching. Hey, hey, whoever's Thanks watching the, the live play. stream, hello. Right on time for my art. Hope lesson. you're having a great Thanks night. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting Everyone ever actually. happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Hold 
Um, I was doing something. Explain what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life. Oh, he left. Twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. <laughs> Do you know about chaos theory? Uh, it means shit happens, oh. right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. This game's so fun. You guys should download it, it's free for a PS4, so yeah, you guys should download it, it's really fun. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Soldier. You don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. So you Maybe can't help this me? Is your way of getting I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. 
I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What is she? Okay. You have to do with Kate. With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share it? Not right now. I'll tell you everything as soon as I figure it out. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Heeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Weird science. Brain thing. Hey, Warren. Are you? Maxwell Silver Hand. Asking me for. I have to add either. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. This can't be that hard. <laughs> Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look? No time to you talk, Max. Me. Posing in progress. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Here comes the mysterious Max. Disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> Assholes. Well, they're rude. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? 
Now this is so wrong and weird. Get off. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit so down. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today... We're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such <laughs> visual power. In the picture. It's basic yin What's and yang. Problem? Black and white images are effective precisely because she that of their fast? contrast. Sheesh. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. about to get crazy. Kate! No! <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, God. I, I have to do something to help her. She can't die. She can't. able to rewind again and again. Ah. Uh. Guys, just let you know, never suicide, never kill yourself, never do that, guys. I want you to never do that. Please, don't do that. You still have a really big life to do. So, don't do that, guys. Please, just don't. Just don't, no, never suicide, guys. Never kill yourself. Yes. to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? 
I've been bullied too, Kate. And even when I got picked on, I stood up for myself. I know you only stand up for yourself. That's why you let David get in my face, like everybody here. That's not true. People want to help you. Yes, they want to help kill me. And they can get their wish. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What about your mother, Kate? You'll destroy her. She doesn't care about a video. She loves you. You don't know my mother at all. She already thinks Satan has me on the fast track to hell. Let's prove it. No! It won't let me rewind. Probably I say your dad or your or your sister, your son. I know something. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madison, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions.
Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little... Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security officer? I know she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with Kate. Here's a photo I took of David and Kate yesterday. That's not... not proof. Hold on. This isn't a courtroom. But I feel it would be in the best interest of Blackwell and this situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue <coughs> this conversation later, when the police finish their own investigation. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh, this is major bullshit. I led troops into battle, and you're letting this punk lead you? No. I am sorry, David. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? You can't. She's smoking and selling dope, not saving lives. No, I'm not. And that has nothing to do with Kate Marsh. I'll have to investigate to see if this accusation is true. Therefore, Max, I'm obliged to contact your parents and suspend you for a few days. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. Signed it up. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. Thank you for I wish watching. I had the power to change it all for the thank better. Thank you guys for watching. So thank you for coming in. I can't street, believe please. it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. Like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof, 
for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. Okay. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Are you kiss? I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
Okay guys, well that's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys, I mean not the live stream, but like, you know, the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, bye.